The hype and the excitement levels are real as Ed Sheeran takes over Mumbai this Saturday on March 16 at the Mahalakshmi race course. Earlier this week, the Shape of You singer was seen visiting a Mumbai school where he was seen singing and jamming alongside school kids and netizens were wowed by the 32-year-old singer's humility as he was seen sitting on the floor and blending in well with the children. In another instance, Sheeran was seen vibing alongside musical heartthrob Arman Malik to the very popular Telugu song, Butta Bama. FPJ has exclusively learned that the scheduled concert on March 16 has been sold out with the costliest ticket amounting to as high as Rs 32,000. Although general access tickets have been priced at Rs 9,000. The concert will also feature opening acts by Indian independent music sensation Pratik Kohad and Callum Scott. FPJ spoke exclusively to senior marketing manager Ruchesh Shukla, who was instrumental in bringing the I Like Me Better single Lau to Lollapalooza earlier this year. He shared what goes behind getting an international act to India and the logistics that justify the perceived steep ticket pricing. Uh, so it's all in the value proposition. Uh, that actually decides your ticketing prices for it. And like the recent example is also from our artist Love that toured India once again, uh, played his first music festival, Lollapalooza, but that was actually his third visit to the country. Uh, coincidentally, he also opened up for Ed Sheeran in 2017 while Sheeran was playing the Geo Gardens. And there was still like 10,000 to 15,000 capacity. Cut to the now in 2024, and we see Sheeran doing like more than 50,000 tickets. Um, that actually explains the kind of growth in the market for even that the artists have. Even, even with the love uh, opportunity that we had, it was all about scaling him up from where he was opening up with Sheeran. And then 2019, we got him for a, a standalone debut gig uh, that played into like famous studios in Bombay, close to 2,000 people, and then straight up to Lollapalooza. So, it's all a journey where an artist who is very much dedicated to coming into the markets uh, regularly creates that kind of a value. And that value proposition over the long term results into a higher capacity, bigger venues, and in return, also bigger revenues. Uh, that explains the ticket pricing. It will be interesting to see how long does Sheeran's set list last and what are the surprises that he holds in store for us. Leave your comments below and tell us about your favourite Ed Sheeran song. My favourite? Photograph.